the members of the CD. but here defending the ABC. I also want to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we're meeting on today, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. And I want to say that just as we have grown as a nation, so has the ABC grown over the years. I think about my own uh, viewing habits over many years, starting with Play School, Doctor Who, Sweet and Sour, and then as you grow a little older, Countdown, Late Nights with Rage, and as you become a little more sensible perhaps, Gardening Australia, my secret indulgence, Late Line, when I was Health Minister, Norman Swan's Health Report, as Foreign Minister, Foreign Correspondent. All these shows that tell the story of our lives as our lives change. Redfern Now, that represents my electorate better than any show. <laughs> stories, that tell, stories that tell the truth about our Australian experience the good, the bad, and the ugly. And just as I've grown and my viewing habits have changed, so has the ABC changed over the years. From double J to triple J, to online, so that I can get the content I want anytime, any place, anywhere, when I want, what I want. Those huge changes over the years from 12 local radio stations and one TV station to 54 local stations, four national stations, one international radio station, six TV, five digital, and such a good online presence that just like Google has become the word for looking things up on the internet, iView has become the word for TV on demand, for content on demand. Nobody remembers Bobby Bluegum. From Bobby Bluegum to a whole channel for kids so that Australian kids can grow up speaking with Australian accents, knowing Australian stories. And you know what? The government knows that this is wrong. Tony Abbott knows this is wrong or he would not have promised Many times, including the night before the election, no cuts to the ABC and no cuts to SBS. He knows that Australians love their ABC and they want their ABC protected. He knows that or he wouldn't have made that promise. And how is it you've got Christopher Pine in Adelaide saying, in Adelaide saying, hands off my ABC, and you've got National Party members out in the bush saying, hands off my ABC, the same people who are sitting around the cabinet table when this decision was made, and don't, don't believe Malcolm Turnbull when he tries to say, oh, it's not really me, it's not really my fault, hands off my ABC, this is, this is a government decision they are all part of it, they should all be held responsible for it, and they should all know how you feel about your ABC and protecting your ABC. <laughs> a broken promise is a broken promise, and a lie is a lie. Before 
no cuts to the ABC. How much have they cut? $43 million in the May budget. $223 million from Australia Network. Now, $254 million from the ABC and almost $54 million from SBS. We're talking about probably 500 jobs, 400 or 500 jobs. You cannot make the, the quality TV that we have come to demand from our national broadcasters when you cut to the bone in this way. You cannot maintain quality. These are real people doing valuable work, telling Australian stories. They deserve their jobs to be protected. And I know that all of you will support the MEAA, the CPSU, the Staff Association and all of those organisations fighting to protect these jobs and fighting to protect your ABC.